as a photographer, it's really important to make sure you get accurate and consistent colors throughout your images. And part of that is making sure your monitor is correctly calibrated. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to calibrate a monitor and why we need to do it. Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Welcome to my channel where I do photography tutorials. I share tips and tricks. Occasionally I do gear reviews as well. And this video is all about monitor calibration. Now, why is it important to calibrate a monitor? Well, I want consistent colors. If I'm editing a portrait image like this one here on this laptop, but I then decide to move on to a bigger screen, I want the skin tones to look the same. I want the colors to look the same. If I'm printing an image for a client, then it's really important to me that the print looks like um, the image does on my monitor. So I like this consistency. And this is why it's really important to make sure your monitor is calibrated as part of your workflow. This video is kindly sponsored by Data Color. In a separate video, I showed you how to use a spider checker color card like this one at the time of taking the image, so that when you move into the editing stage, you get consistent and realistic color balance. Of course, this all falls apart if your monitor isn't calibrated, but don't worry, because we're gonna cover that in this video. Now, Data Color have kindly given me two spider checker 24 color cards to give away in a free to enter competition. So if you wanna be in for a chance of winning one of these, full details at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around. Now I mostly edit my images using my MacBook Pro. If I'm editing videos for YouTube, I'm using my iMac here in the office. And the great thing about using a laptop, of course, is I can edit images on the go. So for that reason, this monitor here, this laptop screen has already been calibrated. But when I'm in the office as we are today, then what I do is I connect the laptop to this monitor as I have it now. And I wanna be able to drag this work off onto this screen but I want the colors to be consistent. So in this video, we're gonna be calibrating this BenQ monitor. And to do that, I'm gonna be using the Data Color Spider X Elite. So when you first open up the Data Color software, it will do a quick check for updates, and then you see the welcome page. Now, because I have a monitor connected to the laptop, there is in effect two displays to uh, choose from. So the software here is just checking which of the two displays I wanna actually calibrate. I now need to select what display type I'm using. I can choose between desktop, laptop and projector. Very impressive that you can also calibrate projectors. Now, technically I'm using a um, laptop, but this is a desktop monitor. Now here's where I get to enter details relating to the monitor I'm using. The software already recognizes that it is a BenQ monitor. Um, to get the display model number, I just look on the back of the display, enter the model number and click next. Now this particular monitor does offer brightness control, so I've ticked that box. As far as I know, it doesn't offer Kelvin presets, so I'm gonna leave that one blank. Click next to move on to the next step. Next, the software is checking what sort of backlight the monitor uses. There's four different options. The monitor I'm using uses what is called wide LED, so click on next. And for workflow, I'm gonna use the step-by-step -step assistant. Click next. This is gonna be a full calibration, so again, click next. And finally, we're about to do the calibration. The software is asking me to place the spider on the screen as clearly shown by the arrows. The back of the spider X is easily removed and this acts as a counterweight when placed behind the monitor. Now you need to make sure it's in the right spot and I find tilting the monitor back really helps to keep it in position. Once this is done, you click next and the calibration process begins. The calibration process can take a couple of minutes and once it's done, you can then save and name your profile. Now it is recommended that you recalibrate on a regular basis and I've set my calibration reminder to one month so the software will automatically remind me every month that I need to do a recalibration. And finally, the Spider X Elite software does also give you this really cool gallery where you can switch between the calibrated view and the uncalibrated view. So you can look at the image and see how it looked before calibration and after. Of course, the colors that you see here will depend on which device you are watching this video on. 
Calibrating my monitor using the Data Color X was really simple and took just a few minutes. The Data Color software makes it even easier as it takes you through the process step by step. I now have two monitors that are perfectly well calibrated. The images look consistent, the colors are consistent, whether I'm working on the go on my laptop or here in the studio using the bigger monitor. Super cool. Now this is the second of two videos I've put together on color management. If you missed the first one, I'll put a link up here and also in the description below. Definitely recommend you checking it out. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I have courtesy of Data Color two Spider Checker 24 color cards to give away. For a chance to win a Spider Checker 24, all you need to do is answer a very simple question. You'll find all the details on the Photo Genius website. The competition closes on the 30th of September 2020. Good luck. Now I want to say a big thank you to Data Color for sponsoring this video. For more information on them and their products, just check out the links below this video. If you've enjoyed the video, it really helps if you give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel, new videos every single week. And down below, you can leave your comments, questions and suggestions. I hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya.